Right, in this video we're going to look at function notation. So, function notation isn't anything to really be worried about too much. It is just another way of writing down y equals. And it comes with the benefit of allowing us to substitute in numbers quickly and conveniently without having to put down lots of information. So, for example, if I was looking at y is equal to x squared minus 3, and then I would say when x equals 2, y equals 2 squared minus 3, which is equal to 4, take away 3, which is 1. In fun with function notation, what we say is that we're going to call y equals x squared minus 3 f of x. So the f is standing for function here, that's why we use f inherently. But we could use any letter we really want. We could have g of x, h of x, whatever. So you might want to think of f as the name of the function. So we can give the function a name, which then allows us to use uh, f of x in our mathematical conversation, if you will. So if f of x is equal to x squared minus 3, then what we can do, if we want to look at when x is 2, we write f of 2. So we've replaced the x with 2. So we also replace the x with 2 here. 2 squared minus 3, which is equal to 1. So this is using function notation. So it then allows us to look at things like, if we said f of x equals um, 4x squared plus 1, and g of x is equal to 3x cubed, then we're allowed to then have this as our shorthand notation to say, right, well, f of x plus g of x is equal to 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus 1. And it just allows us to manipulate functions um, much more easily when we have named them. So this function is called f and this function is called g. And we're just going to be using that throughout this chapter. It also comes into later chapters when we're looking at differentiation as well because there's a function notation that goes with that. So be prepared to use it quite a bit.